Hi everyone! Today I wanted to unbox a diamond painting kit I got from Craftably. Um, this is the first time I've ever ordered from them and I gotta say, uh, I mean they, they were pricey but the packaging was like, wow, okay, I have to show you guys this. So first of all, you get it in a box um, and it comes with your toolkit in this little canvas bag. So this isn't like something you tear open and throw away. And then the painting is in this plastic tube, which by the way is in my favorite color. <laughs> Look at this tube. It even has a little handle. So like if you're working on this, you roll it up, take it on. What on earth? I mean, this is like, this is crazy packaging. So I'm really curious if the diamond painting is as cool. And then you have a little taggy here down at the bottom. I had ordered this one, Long Live Magic. It is a 24 by 32. Um, so yeah, let's first look at the craft uh, or the toolkit. I have not opened these, so I'm kind of excited. I pulled them out and I'm like, oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> like I pulled them out of the box. Okay, so inside, all right, our little canvas bag. It looks like we get two things of washi tape. So I got like a little orange and green pattern one. Good, decent amount of tape on there. Um, I could easily use that up on this canvas. And then they send wax, just like Diamond Art Club. Diamond Art Club sends theirs in the little heart. It looks like Craftably sends it in this little circle doodad and they just send you one which is more than enough. I have so much wax. <laughs> um, and then, oh, it looks like this is my cover minder. And this little case. It looks like the magnet part popped off, though, so I'm going to have to glue that back on. But it's like this little resin heart. No biggie that it popped off. I bet you it popped off because it was around in that. Man, they spend a fortune on their packaging. Okay, and then we've got like a little throwaway baggie, but let's see what's in here. Oh, more wax. Okay. So we have a square of wax. And then we have our little tool, which is a clear glitter. And then we have some, let's see, a four placer and a seven placer. So kind of, it's like Diamond Art Club there. Uh, tweezers. Now, I'm not sure if they include tweezers on all kits or just square. I don't even remember if this is square or not, but it does say everything included in here. And then obviously a tray. Okay, let's see what's in this tube. This is such a cool tube. I'm like, I'm gonna save this. <laughs> okay, this thing is huge. Oh my gosh, it's not even gonna fit on camera. All right, so tube is empty. You see you can adjust it to different sizes. That's pretty cool. Nifty. All right. Yes, I'm fascinated with the tube. It's in my favorite color. Okay. Ooh, these are soft. Soft material. Okay, it's taped. So let's get some scissors out. Does the tape peel off? No. Nope. If it does, I have nails, so I'm just going to very carefully cut that tape. All right. Wow, this thing is like <laughs> rolled tight. Oh, that's the bottom. Okay. Ooh, got a little random piece of plastic hanging out here. Okay. Oh, it's like got glitter on the canvas. Is that glitter? doesn't come off. It's like on the canvas. All right, let's see. Holy cow. Where? The diamonds are like rolled up in there somewhere. <laughs> this thing is huge. Oh my gosh. Very soft canvas. The rendering on her face looks a little wacky. But it might look better once it's done. The unicorn looks really cool though. Oh my gosh, though, look at this. Look at that confetti craziness there. Oh my gosh. 
I'm gonna be <laughs> doing this for days. Oh, that section's giving me anxiety. So we do have some color blocking, but there is a lot of confetti spots on this one. The outside looks nice and this thing is, oh, wow. That is one heavy, heavy beast of things here. All right, look at how many gemstones we have. All right, so now that we finally got to there, how to diamond paint. So they just send like a cool little thing. Um, also, this is new, or at least according to this thing. Like I said, I've never ordered from Craftably. Now including random themed magnets to, you know, for cover minders and washi tape. So that's interesting. So I guess they didn't do that before. Um, so their version 4.0 kit. I don't know when they um, released that. I would have to look that up. But basically includes the art tube. That's the thing I'm super you know, fascinated by. They're all poured glue. Yada yada. Let's see. Here is, wow, I like their stickers. Oh, and this is perfect because I put it in my little journal. So that is super cool. And then you get a bunch of other stickers as well. I like those. And then these are all for your little containers. The only problem is, is these are bigger than my circle containers. So I'm going to have to wrap it around the lid on the side. That's no big deal. Um, let's talk about how many diamonds this thing has. <laughs> oh my goodness. This, this is going to take me forever. Forever. Okay. Wow, they just jam those bad boys in there. So, unlike Diamond Art Club where, you know, they roll them out in those, like, manufactured things of uh, diamonds, these are in little baggies. So... Oh, uh, hopefully they're all there. But yeah, so I mean, we've got just three of that color. Ooh, we opened the good one because there's some ABs in here. So it looks like we've got this yellow is an AB. This lilac is an AB. Oh my gosh, like this is where we have like a multiples of colors. Holy cow. <laughs> this is a big canvas though. Yeah, multiples in there. Um, let's see. I don't think there's any. Is this one only have two ABs? Can't remember if it says on here. Interesting. Oh, and their symbols aren't too bad, so they're not all letters, which is nice. And the canvas itself is not like oversaturated. Um, like super colorful so that it's really hard to read the letters so I do like that or the symbols I mean now I did grab another one from craftably which is a Jasmine Beckett Griffith so we will unbox that one as well and see what we get looks like there's like a label there but yeah this is this one here and this is gonna be so pretty I mean look at the the image her hair was what got me I just wanted to do that hair but now I'm seeing the hair is what all that confetti is <laughs> that's gonna bite me so I'd really like to see this one done and how it ends up turning out but let me grab the other one real fast okay so the other one I got was the 24 by 32 angel of starlight from Jasmine Beckett Griffith again you get the tube and this canvas bag Let's see what tools we got in this one. Okay, so two washi tapes again. I really like those washi tapes and it seems like they go together. I got a cover minder, but the thing, the <laughs> magnet on this one is broken off too. Find that interesting. Oh, it's a little macaroon. Oh, that's a really cute one. I'm gonna have to glue them. Okay, so we got our wax in that one as well. And it's the same, same stuff as the other one, even the same color placer. We got our tweezers. Let's see how this canvas looks though. Okay, so these screw on and off. This 
one is not as heavy as the other one. <laughs> Let's see. So that other one had, oh, where was it? The other one, oh, these labels come off pretty easy. 64 colors in that other one. And I need to look up on the website how many diamonds that one had because that other one is heavy, like heavy. <laughs> this one's light and they're the same size, like they're the same diameter, but this one's like so much lighter in weight. So I really am curious how many diamonds that other one has. <laughs> uh, all right, does it start from the bottom here? Yep. Wow, this one's bright. Holy moly, look at the, the colors on this. This is bright. Ooh, oh, that's gonna, <laughs> that's, that's a lot of color. But look at this, the, all down here is color blocking. Look at that, that'll be easy to belt out. But once you get up here, we're starting to get into some confetti spots. That's where it's getting more confetti. Oh my gosh, look around her eyes, all the confetti around her eyes. But up here we've got some good color blocking still. It's not too bad. And one, just one bag of diamonds. <laughs> so, oh no. But my, my little sticker thing got all stuck on it. There we go. So, well, let's see. This is 68 colors. But it looks like the sticker thing came loose and stuck, but nothing damaged here. So this is 68 colors. Interesting. Hmm. And it looks like, oh, okay, so three ABs in this one. So they have them actually labeled as AB. And let's see, did the other one? So how many did the other one have? We're experiencing craftably together. Yeah, so two ABs in the other one. Way less though of the drills here like so this is the jasmine beckett griffith one and this is this one i mean this is gonna take forever i'm kind of intimidated by that one i'm not gonna lie okay let's see if we can get this one open oh i don't want to cut the pretty sticker but i have to okay Ooh. so they're one of their ABs on this one. Where'd my thing go? Oh, so they have ABs and um, the LZ. That's what these ones are right here. So you can actually like buy this style diamond to customize your um, diamond paintings, but this one's gonna be extra sparkly. And that's what else? So it's like a little time. I'm just saying like, Oh, these are gonna be in her eyes. I see some in her eyes. I see some down here. Oh, well, that's gonna be interesting. And then 67 and 66. And here's our ABs. And these are round, by the way. So this one's a round kit. So we have three ABs. Um, these two are yellow. And then we have a white AB. Very sparkly. Very cute. And so you get tweezers with their round kit as well. Um, Diamond Art Club only gives tweezers with a square. You get uh, the tweezers with the, I guess, all of them from them. But yeah, so three ABs. Now it looks like, and some of these are just a tiny amount of colors. I wonder how many spares I'm going to have. We'll see, but I am very excited. I've never placed these kinds of drills before. I've seen them, like people order them to customize their paintings and make them extra sparkly, but I'm very excited to see how that's going to look on this image, especially because <laughs> this darn sticker, especially because look at this one from Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Isn't that so cool? Oh, that's going to be so fun to do. Yeah, I'm really excited to do that one, the Angel of Starlight. So let's see. We can just roll it out a little more here. Got a little crinkled on the side over here in shipping. 
doesn't look like this came off at all. Oop, I got one random pink drill, so I wonder if there's none loose in the bag, so that was just during shipping, I guess. Ooh, okay. So yeah, her face has tons of confetti around the eyes. The hair right now looks really wacky, <laughs> but I'm hoping when you put down the diamonds, that doesn't look as weird as it looks right now. But, because sometimes when they print these out, you're like, ew, what is that? And then when you actually do it, like this is supposed to be all shiny right here. Um, I'm kind of nervous because the last Jasmine Beckett Griffith one I had done, it was from Diamond Art Club, and her eyes turned out really wacky. So I was really interested to see how craftably did theirs. But um, I guess we'll have to just work on this one and see. So yeah, that is the two diamond paintings I got from Craftably. Both the same size, 24 by 32, with incredible packaging. <laughs> um, I still can't get over the like, a plastic tube. Uh, but yeah, one with, you know, not as many diamonds and one that's probably going to take me like five years to complete. Um, so let me know if you have ordered from Craftably before. I would love to know your opinion on them. I will leave links in the description below for both of these kits. Um, I do have an affiliate with them, so it'll just give me a few extra cents or dollars, depending on what you order. But it's no extra cost to you to use those links. But yeah, I'd like to know if you guys have done Craftably. Is, do you feel the glue is as good as Diamond Art Club? Um, the quality, your thoughts, because like I said, I am brand new to this. I'm brand new to diamond painting in general so I would love to know if you've seen any big differences between the two and until next time everyone take care bye now